hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you firebase uh, fire restore how we can store and retrieve data from the fire store so let's get started so i have already created a project and a main activity so let's start with the ui first of all so i'm adding just the first name and the last name so i'm creating a layout for that and then i'll be adding a save button uh, on the bottom of the screen So our layout is ready now let's move to our activity so let's re read what user has entered as a first name and the last name so let's read the input box values and hold it in a variable I'm giving a ID to the button I forgot while designing the layout so this is the button ID and now handling the button click here and I will call a function from here which is going to be taking the two parameter first entered first name and the last name and I'm going to create a separate function for that so all the firestore related uh, code is going to be in this function only so this function is for storing the data in the firestore so let's go to our Google console. I'll share the link in the description. So create a first project. So I'm going to show you how we can create a project. So give a name. And simple continue. Select this. It will take some time to create. So once that is done, then create, choose this Android icon and give your package name what you have in your application. So I'm selecting this and adding it here. Give any name of your choice or the same project name. it's optional so no need then click download this uh, google service json file and now as image is showing so we need this service file in our application folder so you can take a look here so just simply paste it here there you go No need to modify this file so now click on next and here it is showing us uh, some dependencies which we need to add in our Gradle file so I'll show you how you can directly add these dependencies without copy paste so go to tools and then click on firebase it will show you here um, help go to firestore and click on this link and click on this add yeah so here we just need to accept this and it automatically add these dependencies in our Gradle file 
let our project to be sync now and here you can see some code but with, this is in java we are going to use the kotlin so we'll write our code separately so now you can see all the dependencies has been added successfully and our project is synced now so you can see this is the dependency it was showing and it is added in our project you can add it manually too now let's go and uh, create a one database so i'm going to use the test mode currently yes simply no need to change anything just follow the steps it takes some time to set up the project okay it's all ready now and now let's start so we need to give a name i'm giving users and this is the way we can add manually data so i'm adding one record manually so that is going to be the first name and the last name so here is the key first name and the string type and just adding a value you can add another field for last name simple string and then i'm adding name as a value and we need to pass this uh, as a document name but in our case from the code it is going to be manually uh, it is going to be automatically incremented so as you can see we have successfully added one record uh, manually now we are going to add these records from the code so let's start with first of all we need to create an instance of our firebase database so let's start Here I'm creating a data which is going to hold uh, in the hash map as a first name and the last name. So I'm just simply creating a hash map. There I'll be creating a, I'm putting the key and the value, simple hash map. Key as a first name. and the value which is user is going to enter similarly for the last name here we need to pass our uh, tip uh, database name so that is the user which we already created over there and now we need to add some listeners so success and failure listener we need to add and just displaying a toast if it is success or in case it's failure so it will show the appropriate error message so it will say record added successfully when record will add successfully without any error Also, we need to add the listener for error 
in case it failed this is a failure listener and here also I am going to show the toast message let's copy it and paste it here let's change the error message to fail that's it and yeah let's run our application and see if you are able to add the records there you go so let's enter first name and last name so you see the toss on the bottom so we are successfully able to add a record let's see it here so you see like it added a record that's great let's add another record over here so we can see now so we are successfully able to add a record on the firestar let me show you one more there you go so it's very quick because it's a small amount of data and it's very quick that's the beauty of firebase and firestore so let's write a code to retrieve data from the firestore so let me write another function Similarly, we are going to have the DB instance, same as table name, users. We need to get on complete listener when it is going to complete. If it is successful, then we'll make a for loop with the data so let's hold it this data in a string buffer so that we can append uh, first name and last name accordingly and we need to pass the key same as we are using at the time of adding a data so that is the first name and the last name document or data don't get value and we need to pass last name now So just to display <coughs> this data on our UI, we need to update our layout file. So let's add a text view on the under the save button so that we can see our results on this text view. So let's add this.
and let's simply set the text on the text view and we need to call this function to, from the when we are adding a record and when we are loading this screen that's it let's run this application and see so we can see we can see the old records here that's great now I'm going to add a new record there you go fantastic so guys that's all for today's video you can find the code link in the description I'll share this code on the github you can see all the records here thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe like and share Thank you.